What if Windows 11 came with zero bloatware, no useless pre-installed apps, and stayed supported until 2032? That's exactly what Tiny11 LTS CV3 delivers. Hi, this is Neil from HT. Today we're checking out Tiny11 LTS CV3, the Windows 11 Microsoft should have made. No bloat, no junk apps, but updates, store, and defenders still work. Clean, light, and supported until 2032. To install it, your CPU needs SSC 4.2, Pretty much anything made after 2008 has it. If you don't know, just Google it. Let's talk storage. If you're not sure how to install it, I'll drop the original creator's tutorial in the description, so no excuses. Now, normal Windows 11? That thing eats more than 24 gigabytes on day one and just keeps getting fatter every time Microsoft pushes an update you never asked for. Half that space is wasted on apps you'll never open and features you didn't want. Tiny11 LTS CV3 laughs at that mess. It starts at five gigabytes, and even after tossing in a browser, you're looking at around six gigabytes as total. That's it. The rest of your storage is actually yours for your games, your apps, and your files, not Microsoft's junk drawer. Now for the question everyone spams me with, what about RAM? Let's start with stock Windows 11. It sits there doing absolutely nothing and still eats around 2.9 gigabytes out of four. That's over half your memory gone. Before you even click an app, open Chrome and watch the system beg for mercy. Classic Microsoft efficiency. Tiny 11 LTSC doesn't play that game. At idle, it sips around 1.4 gigabytes. Turn on Velotic's memory cleaner and you can push it under a gig. And yes, that 256 megabytes RAM claim isn't a joke. I'll show you how at the end. And if your apps or games crash, just enable paging files. Problem solved. On CPU load, Windows 11 idles with 156 processes and 1,800 threads. That's insane for doing nothing. Tiny11 LTSC runs lean at 99 processes and 1,400 threads. Some tiny OSs claim lower counts, sure, but that's because half the system is broken. Here, nothing's stripped that you actually need. And if you want to squeeze even more speed without reinstalling, just use my app, Velotic. Velotic is built for people who demand performance. It doesn't just raise FPS. It optimizes your entire PC. CPU and GPU settings are tuned automatically, junk files are removed the moment they appear, and hidden slowdowns are fixed in real time. With 500 plus advanced tweaks, you control every part of your system. De-bloat windows in one click, install apps instantly, unlock hidden hardware features, and manage power plans for maximum speed. Even storage issues are solved. Velotic compresses files safely, freeing up to 70% more space without deleting anything. This isn't a quick hack or a free cleaner. Velotic has been engineered over three years, tested by thousands and updated constantly. At just $19.99, it's a one-time purchase that pays itself back every time your PC runs faster, smoother, and cleaner. If you want your system to run at full potential without effort, Velotic delivers. Before we get into the benchmarks, I'd take a second to like this video, subscribe, and share it. These builds take a lot of time to test and fine tune, and your support makes it possible to keep making more. Now, let's fire up Geekbench 6 and see how Windows 11 performs when it isn't busy spying on you or shoving useless apps down your throat. After the test, Windows 11 lands at 2,188 on single core and 5,621 on multi-core. That's what Microsoft calls optimized. Honestly, it feels more like a system carrying weights on its back. Now let's switch over to Tiny11 LTS CV3. Before I show the numbers, if you want your own build of Tiny11 or even a completely custom OS with your favorite apps, games, and themes pre-installed right out of the box, I provide that service. You'll find the details in the description of this video. Back to the test. A lot of people love to say Tiny11 isn't stable. If that were true, it would have crashed in the middle of a stress test, but it didn't. Instead, it pushed through cleanly, scoring 2,291 in single core and 5,924 in multi-core. Not only did it beat stock Windows 11, it proved you don't need Microsoft's bloat to get real performance. Now let's talk about the Microsoft Store. 
Tiny 11 LTS CV3. Doesn't include it by default, because let's be honest, Microsoft loves pushing apps you don't need. But if you want the store, it's still easy to get. On your desktop, you'll find a shortcut to my Microsoft Store repository. To install it, open the repository, extract the archive, and inside you'll find a file called Add Store. Right-click it, run as administrator, and it will fetch everything needed and install the store on your PC. You don't need to worry about missing dependencies or broken packages. When you first run the store, it will ask to update. If your internet is slow, be patient. Updates can take a few minutes. Once it's finished, you'll have a fully working Microsoft Store ready to use. To prove it, let's install Calculator. Watch closely, it installs smoothly, opens instantly, and works perfectly. You can do the same with Xbox, Snipping Tool, or any other app you like. No crashes, no glitches, no extra nonsense, just what you need. Finally, you can enjoy a fully working store experience without Microsoft forcing their choices on you. Now let's talk security, a key concern with any custom OS. Tiny 11 LTSC puts you in full control. Want Defender? Open the Configure Toolbox, go to Security, and enable it. It works just like regular Windows. Don't want it. Skip it entirely. This is your system, not Microsoft's. For context, I first built Tiny 11 in 2021, long before NT Dev's 2023 release. Years of experience went into this build, making it stable, secure and reliable from day one. You get a lightweight operating system without compromising safety. Now let's talk about updates. Tiny11 gives you full control. Updates are paused by default. You can enable them with one click or disable them just as easily from the Configure app. Now for the final part. As promised, here is Tiny11 LTS CV3 running on just 256 megabytes of RAM. This is the ultimate stress test for any lightweight or custom Windows build. If it can boot and stay functional here, you know the system is solid. If it crashes, it's instantly disqualified. Watch closely as it loads and you'll see Task Manager confirm the RAM usage once the desktop appears. Is it fast with only 256 megabytes? No, don't expect miracles. Is it usable? Possibly, depending on what you do. But does it actually run? Absolutely. Most other light OS builds crash or freeze at this stage. Now it's your turn. Drop a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss the next release. Share your thoughts in the comments. But for support questions, always use my Discord server where screenshots and screen recordings can actually be reviewed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. This is the Harbor of Tech, sailing off.